On today's show, we've got the latest reveals from the Shanghai Auto Show, Lincoln throws in a chauffeur as part of your lease, and why David Einhorn desperately needs a blockbuster deal involving General Motors. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the automotive industry. Well, Mercedes is giving us a taste of what its future compact sedans will look like by unveiling the Concept A sedan at the Shanghai Auto Show. Even though the company calls this a sedan, the designers blended coupe-like elements into its style. This sleek-looking concept uses a unique approach to make its headlights stand out. The grid structure in the lamp is coated with UV paint and then exposed to ultraviolet light, which results in the headlights glowing in different colors depending on the light. It is a neat feature, but tell us what you think. Is Mercedes headed in the right direction with its design? Volkswagen pulled the wraps off the ID Concept in Paris, the ID Buzz in Detroit, and now the ID Cross in Shanghai. If you don't remember, ID is the name VW is giving to a fleet of electric vehicles it will start producing in 2020. And the ID Cross is the first crossover it has shown. It's built on the automaker's MEB architecture and is a little bit smaller than the new long wheelbase Tiguan. Highlights include all-wheel drive from two electric motors that combine for 302 horsepower and over 300 miles of range from an 83 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack. As for the styling, it's pretty clear. As VW's head of design says, quote, if it was ever possible to make a 100% certain prediction of what the future will look like, here it is. And despite electric vehicles only making up a tiny fraction of the overall car market, a new AAA study says Americans are ready to em embrace EVs big time. The survey found that 15% of Americans, or over 30 million people, said they will likely buy an EV as their next car, and nearly a third said they would likely buy a hybrid for their next vehicle. Look, we highly respect the AAA, but this survey isn't worth the paper it's printed on. People have been saying the same thing for years in similar surveys, but the EV segment still represents less than 1% of the car sales. Clearly, the people being surveyed are just saying what they think is politically correct. We say, don't listen to what they say, instead, Watch what they buy when they actually go into the showrooms. We'll be back with more right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. And by Borg Warner. Propulsion solutions that support a clean, energy-efficient world. As it tries to claw its way back into the luxury segment, Lincoln is offering something that no other luxury brand has. As part of your lease, you can get a chauffeur to drive your car for you. Lincoln will give you a $250 credit on your lease to use a chauffeur, which works out to about eight hours of chauffeur time. You summon one with an app and can even use the chauffeur to make deliveries or pick up stuff at the store. And if you've had a drink too many at a party, you can get the chauffeur to take you home. The chauffeurs are all vetted and specially trained. And after you run out of your $250 credit, you can still hire them for $30 an hour. So far this is a test program in Miami and San Diego, but Lincoln wants to take it nationwide to create a better luxury experience than anyone else is offering. Auto Forecast Solutions reports that Honda will start production of a short wheelbase version of the Pilot in September of 2018 that only has two rows of seats. Obviously, Honda wants more SUVs since that is such a hot segment. But a short wheelbase Pilot will slot right ahead of the CRV, which is the best selling model by far in Honda's lineup. We'll have to keep a close eye on this one and see if the two-row pilot increases overall sales or if it just eats into sales of the CRV. Coming up next, John thinks that David Einhorn's financial engineering plan for General Motors is something of a Hail Mary pass.
For the people at Dow, racing is a sport and a science. We enjoy one and learn from the other. But like most competitive people, we like winning at both. This is the human element at work. Dow. There's more car news and industry insight from the AutoLine Network every day. Take a moment to click that subscribe button. You'll never miss another AutoLine episode. David Einhorn is the hedge fund manager who wants to break GM stock into two different classes of shares. He is a brilliant investor, so brilliant that he was reportedly on the shortlist to replace Warren Buffett at Berkshire Hathaway. Investors in his company, Greenlight Capital, earn average returns of 16.5% a year, which is staggeringly good. But David Einhorn has not made any blockbuster deals in the last five or six years. And that's what several analysts on Wall Street believe that he's after. A big blockbuster deal to get General Motors to split its stock into two different classes of shares. I talked to several of the best-known automotive analysts on Wall Street who think it's a crazy idea. One analyst explained it to me this way. Imagine that GM is a cookie and you break it in half. You can tell investors they can have this half of the cookie or the other half. But it's still the same cookie. The thinking on Wall Street is that David Einhorn is going after GM because he needs another blockbuster deal to polish his reputation. Or, to use an American football analogy, it is his Hail Mary pass. Anyway, with that, we wrap up today's report. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again tomorrow.